Here, if you want, I have a video. I kind of want you to watch. Look <laughs> how sad that is, video, dude. Look how sad that is, bro. You're All showing right. me. <sighs> we can talk about that, right? I guess if you want, but hold on. You look said it. yourself, save it for the pod. All right, all right. Look at this, look at this. Check this out. Hi, guys. I'm Gene. And I'm not Billy. Really and we are getting bowl cuts today! Billy, I feel like at times, um, he he doubts me, you know? He he doesn't think that, you know, I have the ideas to offer that I have to offer. Bro. Like, you know what I'm saying, not, not Billy? Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Like, because the thing is, the thing is, like, this is who I am. This, I feel the most sane I've ever been, you know what I mean? Mm. What'd you say? Okay, so, um, yeah, so we're getting bowl cuts today. Uh, my hair is being cut. This is, uh, NB's actual hair that he's getting cut. Like, you're, you're a real one for doing this with me. You're a real one for getting up here and, 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 and just not giving a shit, right? I'm happy I could replace the not real ones in your life. Exactly. You know, remember, remember when that girl at that one party... And she pooped her fucking pants, and she was running around, and she just smelled like shit, and there's just poop all on her pants. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that? Bro. <laughs> that was, that keep was watching. so funny. Like, oh my god. Dude, I, I honestly love you. And like, I, I just want you guys to know that this podcast is not a spiteful podcast at all. Like, literally, like, like I, I we only talked about Billy for like 10 minutes or something, right now, Billy? Yeah, we barely even talked about him. Um, so you know, I, I don't want you guys thinking that. Like we're gonna we we talk about other things on here. Um, but you know, I feel like that's pretty good for an episode. Um, I just want to thank everyone for watching the millions of viewers. Um, oh wow, I look I look, dude, I look great. Uh, uh, thank you guys so much. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. We'll see. There's gonna, definitely gonna be another episode. You know, fuck, fuck Billy. Um, and uh, I'm Gene. And I'm not Billy. And we got bull cuts today. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. That's it. So, bro. <laughs> so that's a highlight reel, um, of uh, something I've been working on. And Did you do that last night? Well, I was just thinking, like, maybe I could get your opinion on it. Uh, like, I don't know what <laughs> I'm supposed to say. Like, you got the fucking bulk. I'm still not getting it. That's all I'm going to say is I'm not going to, like, I don't know if this is supposed okay, to okay. make me feel guilty. Here's the truth, Josiah. That for was... everyone watching, I really <laughs> didn't. Uh, and for anybody who is just listening, Lucas got the fucking bowl cut. Go to YouTube <laughs> to fucking see it. Lucas got the fucking bowl cut. It looks... I'm not gonna say anything about it. I can't... Did you do that, Gibby? Yeah. Why did you do that thing? He asked me to. And you're a good friend. Yeah. But also, the thing is, is if you were a good friend as well, wouldn't you tell him, like, yo, I don't know about... But, I don't know, you ride or die. <laughs> uh, I mean, you did it, okay. like, hats let, off let to me, you. Let me tell you something, though, dude, is that... Um, oh, my God. Like, this is not the end of the video. There was actually some clips that were taken out. And the truth is, is that... That was... Um, that was not not Billy's real hair. Yeah, I know. I know was, that I, was I Nelfin. There was no one who would do it with me, and I, I, I gotta say, like, Grace, did you do Nelfins? Mm -hmm. This was last night. This was last yeah. night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But finish the video. Finish. And the this video. is why when I called you, Grace, you were like, No, I really was gone. Okay. <laughs> that was long gone. I don't really 
little do you guys know what was happening to me last night. Okay, wait, what's Finish the video? The what's the video? Finish the video. The Lost Clips. It's funny thing, actually. The Golden Hammer was his favorite gun. Um, yeah, he, he loved that gun. So? Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not, you know... You don't have to, you know, come at me or anything. <laughs> um, you know, Billy... Billy would have never been on it. You know, and... You know, even even sometimes, you know, I'm not going to front. <laughs> sometimes I do think about him and you know, I think about what he's doing, where he's been. Um, but, you know, I just... That's in the past, you know? I, I don't want to think about that. I feel like, um, you know, it's... it's. I am feeling a little weird. I am feeling like, um, you know, it is weird that we did this in the same place as Billy and Jean. Uh, I am thinking that. A little bit, because usually he w he would sit there, um, and the thing is is that um, now he's not there anymore. Now 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 it's NB, right? Um, it's no biggie. It's no biggie. Yeah, you keep saying that. Um, but the thing is is you know he he used to sit there. That was his side, and you know I am getting um a little sentimental. It's just I wish that he cared, you know. I wish that he cared. I do care. Wow. I wish that he cared. I don't, like, did you run audio for that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, be, okay, Josie, let me explain it now. <laughs> because, <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, where does the joke end and where does real life begin? <laughs> I'm not getting the bowl cut. <laughs> It's fine, dude. Honestly, I got it, and we did it, and I don't know if it was as worth it. Do you regret it? <laughs> okay, let me ask you something for real, though. When we came in, did you know? No. Really? I swear to God. You're you're actually surprised right now? 100% surprised. You, you weren't expecting it? No. Not at all. I swear Because I came in life. with my hat and, like, my hood. I thought you would think, like, I was... No, something. I thought you were just cozy today. I was going to say, like, bro, like, you're going to be fucking hot in here. <laughs> like, take that fucking hoodie off. But I wasn't expecting it all for you to have a... Dude, that is, like... I mean, I don't really... You know, dude, I, I, I got to say, man... And like, you replaced me, too. I did. With w Nelfin in oh, a green wig. It was not Billy, yeah. And, uh... Wearing these glasses, which is so weird because today, I just told Lucas right before we started, I was like, I got these glasses, like, I'm going to wear them today. You wear the other ones, you know, and um, that's weird. <laughs> I had an awful night last night. <laughs> I felt so bad too, Josie. Like, we were all hanging out, like, Max came over. Like, what? I know, I know, and we got lunch with Max this morning. That was funny. Bro, that's why you guys went to Bruxy? <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> So but dude this was all for you this was i was telling grace like all, like we came up with this before we recorded the episode where i even talked about it and um who <laughs> me and grace it's actually grace's idea to have another person um and uh like you and my sister conspire against me this is not all for me yes. so don't no no hold on don't mask it like this is all for you this is against me see Whoa. you replaced me and then you got a bowl cut no did you not finish the video bro i was talking about how the hammer was your favorite gun i was talking about how i know, didn't care how i missed you how i felt weird about it you know because the thing is afterwards um i think nelson felt a little uncomfortable about it great so you've been gaslighting me about like yeah, Lucas has been really like fussy today. No, 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 that was true. So you didn't plan this before the bowl cut thing. I did say he was like kept talking about. It. I was like, well, if you really need to do it, then you're gonna have to do it with someone else. And he was like, well, then maybe I will. <laughs> yeah, that's and right. Kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, and then yeah, also Rose came in and said, do you like the haircut? Did you see I know, I know. And I was like, Shut up! And then she said, I cut my finger. Oh. My hair. Yeah, Lucas's, Lucas's yeah. mom came in and she was like, you like the haircut? And I was like, 
did you get a haircut? Like, I don't <laughs> notice any difference. And she was like, no. So I, as I was uh, talking about this cut, and she had, like, this cut on her and finger. she just she, cut her finger I today. Really, she like, actually just cut her finger today. She was and, acting a little funny to and, me and today, she didn't though. realize. She didn't realize she messed it up, and she's like, oh, no, my finger. And, like, she covered that up. I know. She, she's a good she liar. I, I'm proud of her. <laughs> well, you got your fucking bowl cut. Are you happy? <laughs> like, was that worth it? Like, was it worth it? Because now you're sitting there, and... You know who you look like. I don't have to tell you. <laughs> it's great the thing I look like a friar. Oh, I wasn't gonna say that. Who do you th- what? Who do I look like? You look like Jim Carrey and Dumb and Dumber. <gasps> That's what my dad said. Like exactly my dad like said it. that. That's what my dad said. Like Lloyd. Dude, bro, you should just shave it. It just sucks that you know, I'm I all I <laughs> okay, all I wanted to do was to make you laugh. That's all I want to do in my heart of hearts. You did it. I was like, I, I just want to make Josiah laugh. That's all I want to do. And then after all of this, you're just like, you should shave it. Looks like shit. <laughs> you know, dude, like like I admitted it wasn't the best idea now that I Bro, went through with it. Are you telling me I have to sit here and lie to you and be like, dude, it looks great? <laughs> Like what? It looks like shit. Like a bowl cut looks like shit. Like, especially a short one. Like it's not like it's a funny haircut. But even if it looks like shit, man, like it doesn't look. I will say it doesn't look as bad as I thought it would though. Like there's is part of it where it's like, oh, this is like, in someone's eyes, this could be very much perceived as like, oh, like he's very in style, like and very I know, like high it, fashion. Doesn't it look like more modern than it should? Like yeah, it's perfect for but the event. I think also you kind of owe Gibby an apology because he was the one who cut it. So I owe Gibby no apology. <laughs> You did something wrong here. <laughs> Both of you did something wrong. I might have messed up on the edges, but I thought it was a good haircut. First time. For a first time, it's not that bad. I'm just Thank saying. You. Potential. I have potential. It's, it's either you're a good. I can't. I can't decide whether it's a really good friend move or if it's a bad <laughs> friend move. But I think it's a good friend move because you're like ride or die. Like, yeah, bro, you want a fucking bowl cut? I'll give you a bowl cut. So I think, you know, I think the the main person who's in the wrong is Lucas. <laughs> and For wanting to make my friend laugh, okay. If you did that for me, I would be so happy. I wouldn't, and I won't. <laughs> I'm not getting a bowl cut. If you got a bowl cut, who for else me, did you tell about this? I'd be this? the happiest boy. Who in the knows? World. Who knows? Uh, Drew knew. Um, cause I was looking for people to actually get their hair cut with me. I was trying to find someone, and everyone's hair is either too short or no one wanted to do it. Did you ask Enya? Um, I I asked Drew if I should ask Enya, and he was like, "No, I don't think Enya's gonna want to do it." And she I was like, wouldn't. "All right, maybe um, Orion would." No, no one would, dude. No one wants to get a bowl cut. <laughs> Everyone's against it. But honestly, dude, I fell through with the idea. I thought it'd be fun. I thought it'd be funny. Um, and well, you know, now we're here. But you know, it's like. Friends got to do things to other friends. It's surprising. It's fun. You know, that's what makes life interesting. Well, I'm Billy. And I'm Gene. And we, we are, are not, not your, your lovers. lovers. <laughs> See, it's just a start. It's just a start to the pod. Yeah. You know? And if you don't want to put it in, we don't have to. No, I, we have to put it in. <laughs> dude, I want I want to show you the um the like full thing, dude. We we recorded for thirty minutes, dude. We have an entire podcast together. <laughs> it's crazy. We can release it on Patreon. Yeah, that's how I was thinking. Um Well, while you were getting your bowl cut last <laughs> night, I was in Long Beach at my friend's house. Um I was scared really scared okay why um <laughs> shut up <laughs> why <laughs> no basically basically i was at emily's house and we were having a good old time we went to target we got christmas tree decorations we decorated the whole christmas tree we were watching enchanted um Dude, that's crazy just like chilling out you know like we smoked a little bit like mm-hmm. we're just like decorating the tree it looks crazy by the way um i'll show <laughs> I you a picture only imagine is it a real tree no yeah and it's like all rainbow like like it's 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 crazy um but Did basically you get ornaments and stuff yeah like a hundred ornaments oh, for like I this tiny tree it's so much fun it's like filled to the brim <laughs> um but basically we were like chilling and i was gonna go home last night i was like okay i'm gonna go home it was like midnight and i was like all right i'm going home right now um and then all of a sudden, I, like, grab my bag. I'm, like, getting ready to go. 
I hear this like pounding at the door and it's like a pounding and it sounded like someone had like a key in their hand. Like it was like, and it was like, what the fuck? Like it's midnight. Like, and me and Emily immediately for some reason just got so scared. Cause I mean, it was a banging Yeah, I was and it was say, midnight. Like, how loud was it? It like... was loud and they stayed there for like five, 10 minutes. Wait, what do you mean they stayed there? They like... stayed at the door banging for five, 10 minutes. Oh, we didn't what? get the door. Wait, for five minutes, someone's banging on the door. Yes. Does she have a people? Yeah. I looked, it was like a woman who was maybe wearing kind of glasses like this, <laughs> not joking. And like, she had like dark hair she I, I don't know who she was no one knows who she was like and emily like called her neighbor like all scared because emily was like panicked and i was low-key too like i was like yo what the fuck like what like I know who that's... is <laughs> that like what like why are you banging yes, for that long scary. like we were just waiting for them to go away um and she would not go away like it was so freaky and we called emily called her neighbor and was like, yo, like, did you hear that? And she was like, yeah, I thought it was someone at my door. Like, it was so loud. Um, and I told her neighbor, like, who it looked like. And she was like, there's no one who lives. Because it's a small apartment complex. She was like, there's no one who lives in here that looks like that. Like, I don't know who you're talking about. Um, she was like, uh, and the thing is, is it's a gated apartment, too. Like, I mean, so they, they, I don't know how they got into the gate. You know, you know what they say, right? What? Ghosts? It takes a ghost to see a ghost? I'm not a ghost, bro. <laughs> um, you don't exist to me. Basically, I don't know who it was. We were really scared, and then I couldn't leave. I, re- I was like about to go home. I wanted to go home and like get some good sleep. Dude, wh- that's the end of the story? Uh, oh, the police came, because her neighbor was just like, bro, like, you know, like, put in a... um. Put in a police Her neighbor report. Was just like, bro, like, put in a police report. <laughs> <laughs> like, she was like, bro, put in a police report. Um, so we called the cops. They came really quick. They came in like five minutes. And they're just like, uh, they're not here anymore. We looked around and then they left. Um, that was like it. It was like the shortest. It was like 30 seconds maybe. Um, and then we were just like chilling and i felt really bad i didn't want to leave emily alone there because she was like super freaked out and uh honestly i didn't want to walk to my car because i was like who the fuck was that dude and uh that's what i did the dude that's night. crazy yeah i got a bowl cut last night. yeah i hope you had fun <laughs> <laughs> hope you had a fucking good time dude that was the story someone was knocking on the door and got arrested you didn't figure it out they didn't get arrested i don't know if they got arrested they're just knocking around. Maybe they needed someone. Maybe someone was chasing them. No, like, they would have been screaming. If it was really an emergency, they would have been screaming. There was no screaming. It was completely like, no, like it was just like, like, I wish I got a video because it was so loud. Like, and it was at midnight. I was like, who the fuck are you? Like, maybe banging? they thought it was leap year and they were trick or treating. They would have said trick or treat. Leap year. How would that <laughs> affect it? I'm not liking this pillow. Um... <laughs> but uh that's scary basically yeah that that was what happened and that's what i was doing last night while you guys were having a fucking grand old time having the time of your (laughs) life i felt so bad too like i could just tell like you wanted to hang out so bad (laughs) and i was like no bro can't hang out today sorry i know i was like let's play Fortnite. (laughs) like (laughs) but i knew also i was like you and grace are hanging out i was like (laughs) Dude, I have Max's location. I know, that's what I, me and Grace were talking about. We were like, I don't know if he has it or not, but I hope he doesn't check it. I do, sure. but I mean, I don't really check Max's location since Oh my god, dude. But, yeah, I mean, I, 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 you know what though? Like, with friendship, I feel like you go through trials and tribulations and whatever comes out in the end is what is, you know, what was always meant to be. I don't see how that applies here at all. <laughs> I really, I don't, um, but I mean, you got your fucking bowl cut. I had an awful night and I hope you had a great night without me. (laughs) 
Dude, I was so fucking stressed when I heard that you got here before us. Because the plan was, like, we were going to set up everything before you got here and, like, literally just press record on the camera and just plug in the computer and start going. But you were a little That's early why you bird. were so stressed today about, like, bro, can we just go? Like, can yes, we just set up? Yes, I, know. I was like, why is it just being so, like, I was like, he's stressed, man. Was that, okay, then was the toilet shit real or was that a distraction? Yeah, no, it was. It was a distraction. Lucas it is distracts. bleeding out of his fucking butt. <laughs> and I was like, this is perfect. I sent him a picture and he of my sent it, he, Dude, he sent it like a picture of like the toilet paper with like the tiniest, like tiniest hint of like pink on it. And I was like, bro, bro, if the toilet water is not red, like solid red, you're good. Like that's my rule is like if it's solid yeah. red, you should go to the doctor. If it's pink, you're fine. Mm-hmm. Like you really like and even solid red. I'm like, I don't know if it happened two or three times, I'd go to the doctor. If you're red, you're in the dead. If it's pink, it's just stink. Yeah. What he said. It's been a crazy week for you, man. Yeah, honestly, dude, for the past like five nights, I've not I've not gotten more than five hours of sleep because we woke up early for the release of the first episode. Which is actually so funny that this is going to be, like, so much later than, like, whenever we release the first episode. Like, we can't this just be, the like, fourth thank episode, you guys yeah. for watching. Like, thank you guys for the feedback. It's, like, so much later. But, honestly, I was so surprised. We were talking about how many people we thought were going to watch it. And I was like, eh, f-, because I haven't been on social media in so long. So, I just, I don't know what kind of poll I have. I know Josie has some poll, but, like, who fucking knows? Also, not that much. I was, like, like 3,000, 4,000 views, maybe, if we're lucky. 30,000 views in like the first like two days bro i was like holy shit i'm glad everybody likes it yeah i was like people are too bored honestly but i mean (laughs) to each their own like i wouldn't i wouldn't listen to this (laughs) we have to i mean yeah we do have to listen to it every week but i mean like I, i wouldn't like Maybe I would. I mean, I just don't really listen to podcasts. That's the thing. I mean, I don't know who would like to. I hate. My Do you voice listen to sounds. podcasts? Yeah, actually. Um, you know what? Now that we're getting into it, like, and now that we're doing it, I th- I find it like slightly more interesting. I was watching the It's Always Sunny one yesterday. It's oh, I love so that one. That's good. that's one of the only ones I listen to. How they do it is just so well done, and how they throw up clips and they watch and like um, comment on them, and they'll bring on guest stars. Like I was watching the one um, I forget his name, but Michael something, and he's the waiter. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, and he's yeah. so funny. They were talking about how much they loved him as a straight man, and I found it. There so should be a RuPaul's Drag Race podcast with RuPaul, or I think there is. Yeah, there is. I dude. think RuPaul and Michelle Visage have one. Yeah, God, that's probably awful to listen to. Just like everyone will be in Fortnite, Sick. everyone will eventually make a podcast. RuPaul is senile. That is a theory that is not a theory, in my opinion. <laughs> I think it's a fact you that mean RuPaul normal aging is senile. I mean, no, because RuPaul's not that old, but like RuPaul's like if eighty you, years old. Dude, no, I think like sixty-five. No, maybe. I, I'm not kidding. I'm pretty sure. Maybe seventy. Ru- maybe pushing seventy. I remember being like, dude, RuPaul is like as old as as my grandma. The thing is, like look- RuPaul over the last few seasons, progressively, if you've been watching, has been getting more oh, shit, and RuPaul more. RuPaul's sixty-two. Dude, yeah, sixty-two, and already going. Cuckoo, crazy, cuckoo. 62 like, is so old, though, and RuPaul looks so good for 62. It's crazy. I, I, RuPaul is fracking everywhere and doing all this shit. I don't care. I mean, I still watch the show, obviously, just because it's my duty. I have to. But um, it's she's she's losing it, definitely. She's definitely losing it. Gibby, what do you think about RuPaul? I don't know who that is. <laughs> And that's why I love you, Gibby. Because <laughs> you don't know who RuPaul is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Dude, you're like Patrick, bro. You lived under that boulder forever. <laughs> <laughs> Gibby doesn't live under a rock, bro. He lives in San Diego. Um, hey, wait, same thing, bro. San Diego? I don't like San Diego. Dude, why are you talking trash from where Gibby lives, bro? No, 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 no. I'm just saying when I've been there, I haven't enjoyed it that much. It's okay. It's just not for... Do you like it? I like the zoo. The zoo. I know, actually. They do have that. That's the one thing San Diego really... They have a grip on everybody with that. Like, Isn't there the aquarium, too? That's Long Beach. No, in San Diego. You mean the one we went to? No, like a different one. Me and I, Gibby went to one, remember? That was in uh, Santa Cruz. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, Monterey, yeah, yeah, you're right. Monterey, Monterey Bay? Bay. Monterey yeah, Monterey Bay. Bay. Yeah, right, yeah, apparently right. that one's crazy. It's, I haven't been yeah, to that one. It's crazy. It's so sick. Because the one yeah. in Long Beach isn't that great. I mean, it's like not bad, but we've been there together, Lucas, a long time ago, a few years ago. I mean, I, like back in the day, but I, I don't really support um, the idea of, you know, encaging animals. Uh, I think that's horrible. What about the zoo? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's horrible. Like, I, I will eat them every day. I, I don't care about eating them, but, you know. Well, here's the thing, um, is I, how I feel about it, because a lot of vegan people are like, oh, I don't support the slaughter of animals, da 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 da, da which I'm like, yeah, that is so sad. <laughs> da, 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 da. But basically, how I feel about it is I don't like eating dairy as much because I've seen the footage from the fucking dairy farms, and it is absolutely awful what, what they do. What are you do. talking about? But you'll eat steak. What are you talking about? Well, here's this no, is just this is just my this opinion. This is horseshit. My you, opinion. You don't eat dairy because of your skin. It has nothing to do with you feeling like the cows. Otherwise, you yes. wouldn't eat steak. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. The reason I honestly, but even if I wasn't not eating it for dairy, the the way that they keep those cows alive at the fucking dairy farms and abuse them, like they they look awful and they like treat them awful. I'm like, dude, I'd rather they just be dead. Like, I'd rather just eat the meat. Like, what they do to them on the dairy farms oh, is like keeping awful. them alive, dude. Yeah, they torture them and like it's so sad to me. Um, yeah, they should just be killed. Honestly, at that point, yeah, because they're just torturing them. I'm like, dude, just put them out of their misery. Well, like, you're not God. You don't get to decide what's enjoyable for them or not. Drink almond milk. I drink almond there milk and go, oat milk. Yeah. Uh, apparently, did, oat milk is bad for you, though. But, but I don't know, care. Apparently, like trees, I'll trees, are, trees, and stuff like that, and berries, and nut, like they're all alive, dude. Like they all are able to feel everything. When you cut a tree down, they feel that shit. So when you're saying drink almond milk, is you're that really true? saying fuck almonds. And I hope that they have lives and years of I don't years think almonds pain. are alive. The almonds can't make noise. They can't breathe. <laughs> they can't. Um, they don't have a heartbeat. <laughs> I feel like it's a little different. <laughs> no, dude. Like yeah. it's an organism, but is it like? And also, no. Are, aren't almonds dead? Like once you almonds take them off the organisms. root, like no. Um, on a molecular level, the frequencies of an almond when the you cut frequencies yes. of okay, you know, like electrolytes and you know <laughs> yeah, electrons yes. and like... neutrons around your body. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So you're able to like have frequencies that you give off, and basically when you cut an almond, it sends out a certain frequency that essentially means it feels pain. Who told you that? Um, I I kind of just came up with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't think that's true, and I think that I don't know what's po- why are we talking about almond milk? <laughs> why are we talking about almond milk? Okay. Lucas went to a concert this week. I did. And, um, okay, so here's what happens. Here's what happened. So Greer has been on tour with the Flaming Lips. Only It was very small, like three shows or something. And um, they're a band that we look up to. We love those guys. And we were so surprised that when we p- toured with them, they were some of the nicest So dudes. nice. Like, uh, unreal how there was no ego. They would sit out and watch our set. And then afterwards, they would, like talk about it like remember one time we came off the stage and we had like all of these matching shirts but like some were blue and white but the design on them were the same and then some of us were wearing like converse and jeans and like wayne was so interested he noticed everything (laughs) he He noticed everything he was like so did you guys purposely um you two wear jeans you two wear converse and then you two don't wear converse i love him (laughs) he's just he's the sweetest guy ever sorry to tell you man but (laughs) and he's such an amazing performer (laughs) oh and dude during their sound check he would get down um at the bottom of the venue and while the rest of the band sound checked he would like point out things and he would be like oh this should be here for like the set design of the stage yeah, and like he's great dude, it, it was so inspiring to be able to play with them like I'll, I'll never forget just watching their shows really go see their shows but all um, of that changed when yeah so what happened was <laughs> so Tess, only seth has his number seth is the only one who has his number and they'll text like randomly throughout like the year like sometimes wayne will just text like a picture of his face or like a picture of him on stage like with an arm up and just be like 
yo, you know, and like that's honestly as far as it goes. And Seth goes, what? Um, but one time I think Wayne invited us to go to his show, and Seth was like, yes, we'd love to go. And he was like, all right, I'll put you guys on the guest list. And Seth sent out the names. He's like, all right, you guys are on there. So me, Seth, and Corbin are rolling up to the wheel turn. It's sold out. We get in. We go up to get our tickets, and we hand the lady our IDs. And she goes, um. Yeah, none of you guys are on the list. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you go? Um, what, what, about, <laughs> like, what about Steph Thompson? We were like trying like variations of our name. What, maybe. you were? Yes, maybe she wrote it oh. down wrong. Um, and yeah, um, <laughs> we were like, maybe Wayne does, just forgot. So, I mean, the thing is, is that we've been on the other side of it and people asking us for guest lists. Like, for some fucking reason, it sounds like the most simplest thing you know, on the other side of it, of like, oh, just throw my name on there. Just tell the venue. That's easy. But it, it has to go through, like, so many loops to actually, I like... Know. It's so hard. It's so annoying. I don't know why they make it so hard and annoying to do. That's why I'm, like, so... Sc- and you guys just... Wait, so you guys just didn't go at all? Well, the thing was, is, is we were, like, maybe Wayne just forgot and it got, you know... So we waited in the car for, like, 20 minutes. Oh. Um, and we're just waiting for a text back. And Dude, then that's like, the nah. sad thing, too, is, like, you really... You can't, like... I'm not going to be there texting someone who's about to go on like, yo, put me on the guest list, bro. Mm -hmm. Like if I had their manager's number, maybe, but like. Because the 10 minutes before you go on, at least for me and us personally, it's very stressful. I've had to do that before, though. Like I turn um, into a different person. Like, (laughs) yeah, (laughs) you know, that stupid thing. Like, don't talk to me before my morning coffee. Don't talk to me before my set, bro. No, no. I was going to say, don't talk to me before my morning coffee. Before my show, I was gonna like combine them, like my coffee show or something, or or maybe huh? like uh, my show coffee. <laughs> it's working. Don't talk to me before my vodka lemonade before the show. There you go. Before my Modelo. <laughs> um no. The thing is, is that it is very scary to be listed, you know, for shows. Every time I'm listed for shows, like my name's on the list, I am so scared. I've never felt secure ever, Mm -hmm. ever that my name is actually on the list Mm -hmm. because like for Luna, I was on the list um, and I was at the Wiltern and I was so, I was at that little window and I was like, Hey, like my name's on the list. Um, And like I gave her my ID and they just like make you wait like two minutes. And in that two minutes, I'm like, bro, we're not fucking on it. We're not fucking on it. And we have to go home right now. We have to turn around and go all the way home. Um, but we were, um, it's never happened Yo, to me. I've never, I've never been good turned away. Guys. Fuck you, bro. I've never been turned we away were before. Turned away. And then Wayne texted us like a day later and he was like, what? Oh shit. And he like took a picture of it and he's like, you guys were on there. I swear. And we were like, what the fuck dude? Like what? <laughs> yeah, I feel so bad. You know? But, uh, did we ended up hanging out with, um, Dylan and Ash and then going to like a little, uh, going to, um, yeah. Boba. Yeah. And I tried yeah. v- 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 vanilla tea. Tasted yeah. like shit. And yeah. I feel bad. Like I was like, Dylan, what should I get? And he was like, oh, the vanilla tea. It's really good. And I was yeah. like, you know what, dude? I'll get. I'll get what you're getting. I trust you. And then like I got it, and I fucking hated it. And he's like, how is it? I'm like, dude, it's great. I love yeah. it. Right. And then I had to like kept fake drinking it. Yeah. Until he left. Yeah. Right. And that was it. Yeah. Yeah. Josiah likes tea. Right. Josiah likes to pee in his tea and drink his own piss. Right. Right. That's not true. Lucas has never had tea before. Have you ever drink, drink and drink, doesn't drink. like tea? Have I ever drank my own piss? Yeah. No, I haven't. Well, I can't pee in a fucking bottle because I'm too scared. I get too anxious that it's gonna get everywhere. Yeah, and I'm over yeah. your hands. Wait, that dude, idea uh, is like, uh, oh, uh, piss hands, like piss I just hands. don't want piss all over my hands, piss especially hands, when hands. I'm not in a like like in the van. The time I tried to piss yeah. in that bottle, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't. Like I, I just I couldn't. It, dude. I was like, I was trying jam so in there. hard, and I've never like had that before. Like, whoa, like I literally can't piss. I was like, dude, what the fuck. Um, I really couldn't. Have you ever pee your pants or shit your pants? Oh, yeah. I Wh- shit my pants last year. <laughs> oh, my god! Twice. Twice? Twice in, like, the same month. <laughs> Jesus. Um, once it was eating on the patio, like, just eating some chicken, like, whatever, sitting there, and then a fart came, and... It wasn't a fart. <laughs> That's happened to Lucas. It was a shark. <laughs> yeah, and then the other time, um, like, what are humans, bro? <laughs> oh, the other time was literally in bed. Like I was just sitting in bed <laughs> in my bedroom, and I was like, oh, like I don't know. I was watching TV or something, and I farted, and I was like, oh my god, that shit in my pants, <laughs> and I had to go to the bathroom, and it was awful. 
oh dude one time i like smoked and then we were riding these bikes like to somewhere and it was like a really long ride and in the middle of the ride i was like oh my god my butt feels really wet and i was like oh my god (laughs) I think I pooped my pants. And, like, the entire time I was <laughs> contemplating whether or not I shit my pants and whether or not I should, like, stop riding my bike and, like, check my ass. And the whole time I was like, yep, there's just shit in my pants. And then I finally got off and there was no poop in my pants. <laughs> I just It's a wet fart. But it's it's it. a wet fart. Yeah, like a wet fart with no, sweat. I will yeah. think that shit all the time and I'll be like, bro. It was just my sweaty butt. What I know someone who checks with their raw finger. And I'm not going to say who it is. They just put it in the underwear. Um, brave, <laughs> and they just like they check, and I'm like, no, you know just, who it is, right? No, I don't know, but they're just like, <laughs> <laughs> well, it don't taste anything, so it must be good. Ugh, <laughs> too far, too far. Remember what happened at CGI Fridays? Oh, that's right, dude. It's one <laughs> at CGI Fridays. I was like, so they have this like play area. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a play area next to this DJ Fridays and like there's this big pyramid made out of marble and like it's huge it's like up to the top of this room and we would go up to the top of it and like slide all the way down and I was sliding all the way down and I just shit my pants and then I, I when I got to the bottom I was like oh so then I went back into inside of the DJ Fridays and like I cleaned myself and then like my underwear was there and I was like I don't know what to do with this. So How old were you? I was like oh, 15 or something, and I just left it there. It you was left so- it in the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> and it was, I mean, it was yeah, what are you supposed to do? It told a story. It told a story. <laughs> Bro. That's art, though. No. See, no. Someone comes in there and they think about a story and they create that in their head, you know? So all you have to do is leave hints and people create their own, own story. Bro. This episode is brought to us by hold on by supercuts. This oh, yeah, do you guys by great clips. Do you guys remember um that haircut place where you could play uh, Mario Sunshine? No. Dude, they would put me in like um a little car chair and like I could uh, play, I could play video games and I've get my seen haircut. those before. I I don't have no I have no recollection remember, of going though, to them. Though. I remember they would fuck my Did sh- we go it to looked them? like this. No. It actually like looked like this every single time even though this is really good now. This is like hip. Bro, you look crazy. <laughs> Max is saying that I look like an industry plant. Did yeah, you do <laughs> like I I can't I, I <laughs> like I would be on, like glasses on. randomly like the top 100 billboard and, like you would see and it'd be like, "Wait, who is that guy?" You look like you're like from Sweden. <laughs> Hold on. The behind us, Hatcholio! <laughs> Bro, that's not how Swedish people talk. Yeah, and uh, Yeah, it is. It's close. No. They go, The behind us, Hatcholio! I think that's more Scotland! Like, uh, it gives more like Scotland. To but the, true. the behind true that. us, that's, that's Swedish. I went to Great Clips all the time. That was my place, Great Clips. Great Clips. Supercuts, I think I went like once. But Great Clips was like the same thing. Um, <laughs> just two different ways to say the same thing. Great Clips, Supercuts. <laughs> there was Fantastic <laughs> Sam's. I never went there, though. Fantastic Sam's? Yeah, I never went into Fantastic Sam's. Um, I've never heard of that one. Yeah, it's just it's not that great, I don't think. Um, uh, there's Paul Mitchell. I never went to Paul Mitchell. I haven't had my hair cut in like a year. Now I go to like a real person. Yeah. I don't go to a robot. Because yeah, the people who work at Great Clips and, like, Supercuts, I feel, are robots. I'm not a robot. <laughs> you don't work at Great... Dude, imagine you working at Great Clips or Supercuts. I'm sure I could. He's kill it, dude. He's been, he's After been that, cutting, bro. He did good. You're going to go to cosmetology school? That's my first one. Like. Yeah. Bro, beauty school dropout. Beauty school dropout. Dude, why is that song so mean? I think... I mean... <laughs> he calls her ugly and says that she's not smart. <laughs> It's just, I mean, they did, like, it was a depiction of, like, the 50s, and I don't know. Have you you seen Grease? um, John Travolta, a long time ago. Yeah. Grease, I've seen Grease 30, 30, (laughs) uh, upwards of 35 times at this point, maybe 40. (laughs) You think think 50? Oh, my God. Maybe 50 times. He's not kidding. I'm not not, joking. It's probably one one of my favorite movies of all time. I think it's fantastic. It always makes me feel happy. Um, I think Olivia Newton-John is just fantastic. Rest in peace. She was the goat, physical, great song. Eric Andre will probably pass away in our lifetime. 
So that's pretty lit. No, I feel like he'll live forever. I feel like he'll find some spiritual way to. You know who will live forever is Cher. I think. Yeah, Cher will live forever because I don't see her passing away anytime soon. I think she just gets younger, and she's like ninety. I think she like absorbs like younger people's. I think she has the fountain of youth. Adrenochrome, adrenochrome. Yeah, (laughs) adrenochrome. Bro, adrenochrome literally sounds like something out of fucking Fortnite. Like I dude, when South Park was explaining it, because that's when I learned about it in that one. Did they do an episode? episode? Yeah, like just literally explained it, and um, it's crazy. It's not real though. I know, but it's crazy that people like even, people believe that. I, like, I thought it was a South Park bit that was. going on. It's like on. they take the <laughs> blood like, from babies or whatever the fuck, put it like all over South their Park face. Bit, dude. Dude, it's it's so like stupid. it's the craziest thing in the world, and they think Hillary Clinton is doing that. Bill Clinton's doing that. They look like shit. They don't look young, you know. Like I don't like it's not if they're doing it, it's not working. <laughs> like, have you ever heard of Botox? Maybe they're just getting Botox. <laughs> I really want to get Botox this year, I think. Actually? We should get Botox for an episode. My dad could do it. My dad does it for my mom. So you're down. Um, You know, it's funny. Like, I've always felt weird about Botox with me. Like, I, I, I... You know, anyone can do anything they want. And if it doesn't affect me, why would I ever give a shit? But for me personally, the idea of Botox is, like, so weird. Like, I don't want to manipulate how I look. Like... Okay, well, I mean, like Josie getting a bowl cut. Yeah, it's kind of like yeah, like Josie getting a bowl cut. Like we get we get Botox for the next episode, and it'll be funny, dude. We'll blow up like it'll be a huge deal. Botox and bowl cuts. That'd be so scary if we all showed up for like a podcast one day, and you're like wearing a mask, and like, and you're like, all right, let's just go, let's get ready, and then you take it off, and you look like a baby. (laughs) You're like, I got Botox, and you show me the video, and it's like you and someone else getting Botox. (laughs) It's me and Drew getting Botox, (laughs) and you look all fucking like you have big lips and stuff. That'd be awesome. I would love that. Yeah, yeah. You should do that. Here we go again. You know what? You know how couples, <laughs> when they're mad at each other, they turn their backs to each other like this. Yes. We Aww. can we can kind of do that in like the podcast when I'm upset with you. Have you ever, uh, like, with your partner stuff like that, like after a bad night or an no. argument? <laughs> no, I've never gone to bed angry. Um, yeah. I think that's awful, and um, I think you can go to bed like, and obviously like. You can, like, not resolve it that night, like, obviously, but you need to communicate and be like, hey, like, this is bothering me, like, whatever, like, and we can talk about it in the morning, like, Mm -hmm. I'm really, really tired, but I think you at least need to communicate, you know, you can't go to bed with all that pent up. I was saying, ending off being like, yo, fuck you, yo, fuck you. No, dude, no. Mm -hmm. If I, no, no. No. Are you? No. Absolutely not. Um, no, not, like, (laughs) to the level of fuck you, but, like, I, I, I... like, I did, like, have a time where it was, like, oh, like, I just can't. Like, oh, it's just, like, oh. And then just both turning around and just sleeping. Like, out of, almost, like, out of anger. Like, I just I don't think I, I could fall asleep. I think I'd feel too, like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I know. After, like, a big argument, you're just like, oh, now I'm going to sleep like a baby. Yeah, Dude, bro, you sleep so it good. Reminds like, me no. Of that scene in Step Brothers, my favorite line is after he buries him and he goes, I'm going to sleep good tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe, you're so beautiful. Yes, bro. Look at you. He is the most perfect cat. Unlike Frankie. Okay, the thing with is after the Wiltern thing, um, Seth drove me and Corbin home, and it was like 2 a.m. because we got in and out and then ate it in the parking lot. Oh, you guys lot took Seth's came. car? Yeah, and his new car. Is it cool? Um been been in it yeah dude it's very cool and it's very nice but i do miss his mini cooper so much i was the mini him, cooper is him i was like bro. dude like, it, that's it has a like big gadgets part of and i had like a big clock right in the middle of it it was like <laughs> fucking awesome it's like this huge clock dude but anyways um uh, i finally got home i'm so tired i'm about to fall asleep i have to wake up somewhat early tomorrow to get ready for the bowl cut shit and who do i see going pee in my litter box frankie frankie we have three litter boxes in the house one in my mom's room where he sleeps, his room, one in the living room, and then one in my room for JoJo. And Frankie was using my litter box, and when I looked at him, he raised his little butt to reach just over it and was just peeing on my floor. And the thing is, he 
had a gallon of piss in his fucking <laughs> belly. He was peeing for so long. And if I scare him, what he's going to do in his belly. is just rise even higher, pee even more. So I just literally had to watch him pee all over my floor. And the smell, <laughs> the smell of it, dude. My room is very small. It's like not, you know... Like I mean, it's 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 a good size. It's a good room. size, but like it's cramped a little bit. Like the smells of things, like it's very easy. They linger. They f- take over the whole room. And I literally got a headache. I almost started to cry. It was. It I was, know you're telling me. I was so. You like sad. got to that point where it was that, like. <laughs> like you like just get on the floor and like cry. Turn into a four year old again, and like your parents are telling you to like go to like some sports game that you don't want to go to, you know, and you're like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Please just don't let me go. That's how I felt. I like reverted back to a Neanderthal. I was like, <laughs> yeah, my moments that. like that growing up were more like, oh, I don't want to go to the funeral. She's not dead, please. What? Yeah. I had a lot of relatives wow. pass away young, so I, I didn't really get to like go to sports Dude, games. Stop and stuff. fucking like squashing my stories with your sad drama, bro. I'm just being real, and I'm just trying to keep it 100. Yeah, you're one of the real ones in my I life. I respect that. Bro, I am the real one. Not in real life. enough to get a bowl cut. Bro, I am the one of the realest people you know. When you ask me things, I tell you the fucking truth. Okay, I don't lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not okay, gonna so sit how here my bowl cut look? like shit. <laughs> wow. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it looks amazing. It looks better than I thought it would. But it's like, dude, it's already been cut. It's like me getting a tattoo and you being like, oh, that's going to be on you for the rest of your life. It looks horrible. I wouldn't tell you with a tattoo. Hair grows back, though. See? Then why don't you do it? I just hate that you use your own anti-logic against me. Just such bullshit. Bro, my hair does not grow back. It does, dude. And the thing is, we were looking at videos from a while ago. You already had a bowl cut. You, yes, like when four I first years met ago. You, you literally had a bowl cut. Like four years ago. I'm not like going back to that. You actually fucking already had one. I'm not like, going back to short hair. I, it just oh wouldn't feel right for me. Like, oh I would God. feel so strange. I know. If you, if you yeah. understand that, comment down in the comments who's right, me or Lucas. I know, dude. I wish these fucking came out, dude, because I need to know what people think. Um, yeah, Gibby loves Christmas. Gibby, Gibby, um, is kind of like the Santa Claus of our generation. Really? How? He's very giving. I saw a man with a Santa hat and a white long beard get out of his car at Target yesterday. You think it was him? I think it was him. I had a moment and for some reason, this is the crazy thing is that I am at a point in my life. I don't know why we're like. I would just say something to somebody on the street. Like, I almost said to him, like, hi, Santa. And I was like, okay, you don't say that to people. Like, you don't, like, and it's, I don't know where my, like, s- like my social skills have gone. Because, like, obviously the pandemic affected them heavily. But yeah. then I kind of gotten them back in the last year, you know, like, traveling and seeing people touring. But they're going away again. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because I've given up. <laughs> <laughs> like Dude, on crazy, everything like, i don't know coming out of covid i literally felt like i have never met another human being in my life like i, I know i felt like bo- i felt like boo radley you i know got boo like radley? restarted yes. you remember boo radley yeah, the one course. who stayed in his house that's me that's how i felt gibby knows boo radley you do too you know him personally <laughs> we both read um to kill a mockingbird yeah we both yeah. read him uh, we should reshoot To Kill a Mockingbird with the three. Or no, we should reshoot The Outsiders with the three of us. Oh, that would be I'd awesome. Be down. I'm Pony Boy. No, you you're are not. No, he's yes, got the I'm hair. Bro. Pony Boy. You're full of crap, bro. You were Pony Boy until so I cut your hair. You can't be Pony Boy. Actually, exactly. Yeah. Now I'm like, fucking a loser. Look like Lucas is fucking a loser. I'm not. Lucas is fucking a loser yeah, well, now. <laughs> you fucking, well, you fucking die at the end of the movie, Pony Boy, bitch. Face. <laughs> oh, Spoil- oh. Spoiler I didn't know that. I've never seen the movie. Thanks for the spoiler. I didn't. He I read the book. He burns in the house. Oh! I'm kidding. I read the book and I watched the movie. He burns a lot. So sad. Stay golden. Stay golden, pony boy. <laughs> you know Stay what toasty. book? I was assigned. Stay golden. Dude, I was assigned The Great Gatsby for some reason like four times in school. Oh, so good. Like in like different classes and shit. I don't know why. Honestly, the third time it's is awesome. the best. The fourth time the worst. I never read that fucking book once. And I did like four <gasps> reports on oh. it. Oh. I didn't read it either. <laughs> Have you read any book ever? Me. Becoming by Michelle Obama. Um, That's actually the only book he's read. 
No, I've read all the Hunger Games books, all oh the series God. of unfortunate <laughs> events. I started rereading the series of unfortunate events, Reptile Room, this year. Such a good book. Good read. Good short read. I'll check it out. Dude, check it out. They're cheap as fuck at Barnes & Noble. Do you remember the Benedict Society? No. I remember Spiderwick Chronicles. Yeah. Spiderwick Chronicles was awesome. Did me, like, uh... One of my cousins like believed in the Spiderwick Chronicles and like to mess with him. Me and my other cousin like lit like a piece of vapor on fire and like <laughs> and like wrote like a note and like hinged it, you know, like so it looked all like rustic and real. And we like were like let's go explore for like I forget what they're called, but like demogorgons in the backyard. And like we got a flashlight and we're like looking around. I forget what they're called. I think something, that's from Stranger Things. Like that. And I know that is, but. It's like the same idea, like the monsters. And we found like the letter and we're like, oh my God. And he's like, dude. Stranger Things, bitch. <laughs> and that's the worst part is that like he, he like does it and then he's like to himself. He's like, <laughs> you do the same exact thing. You do the same exact thing. You do the same exact thing. No, I wait for someone else to laugh and then I do it. No, you don't. You don't. You don't. Don't tell me who Hold on, hold on. I what am. were we just talking about? What were we just talking about? We were talking about social oh, skills. Oh, oh, oh. This one time. You guys remember the movie Unfriended? Yeah. <laughs> right? I was... I want to say I was 12 or 13. I was on Uvu. Do you remember Uvu? Yeah, I Uvu. Do. Like, it was like a chill, like, awesome, like, Skype had its time, and then Uvu was, like, on the phone. Like, you would, like... And it was, like, we had FaceTime, but we didn't have group FaceTime. So we would use Uvu. And Did me you and my, have foot time? No. <laughs> See, bro? That wasn't real. You was <laughs> real. Um, basically, let's say this girl's name is uh, Ray. Her like name is Ray of Sunshine? Yeah, sure. Her name is Ray. Like Ray Bands? Yeah. Like Ray Allen? Okay. Her name is Ray. <laughs> oh, yeah. And me and my other friend, we pranked her on Uvu because the movie Unfriended had just come out. And we pranked her, think, like, making her think that um, there was someone else in the call. And, like, that they, like, and, like, I, like, I, I was on my iPad doing it. And I was, like, on my iPhone. But I was on my iPad on the side, like, on this fake account. And I, like, typed her address out. And I was, like, yo, like. Uh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and she was freaked the fuck out. And I felt so bad. Like, she started crying. And that was the time where we were, like, all right, we just got to, like, stop. We just got to stop. Like, we just got to tell, tell her. Yeah, yeah, I think okay, I, I think God. I told her. I think I was like, what, yo, she, was it she, was, she was, was she just... so angry. <laughs> she was so fucking pissed. Oh my um, gosh. It's always such a bittersweet thing of being like, got you, but like I don't know, that's Skype was so yeah. good. Skype was lit. Yeah, Skype's awesome. I don't know where my <sighs> Skype friends are. It's so sad, dude. I, I wish lost they saved. Touch with them. I li- I wish they saved like the logs. Like it I had so, so many great conversations. And on you remember Skype. all the emotes you could like type out? Yeah, yeah. You'd have to like type them in the in the yes. yeah in the little things. Oh my god! God, that was so fun, and, and I would kill to go back. Dude, to the it. noise! I have so much nostalgia oh. for. Like, doo-doo, doo-doo. It's awesome. Dun 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 dun. Mm-hmm. Is there <laughs> Yeah. Bro, oh, I miss it, bro. I would like do it on my home computer and get like kicked off sometimes, like because we had like one computer. God, I miss it. God, do I miss it? God, I, I miss it. I mean, all the Minecraft girlfriends. Do we we talked about that on the pod? Huh? Yeah. We just had Minecraft girlfriend. I wasn't playing Minecraft at that point. I wasn't like a video game. Dude, kid. I was so sweaty in Minecraft, like. Like, it was a PvP server, so, like, you have your base, and you just get a bunch of diamonds and the best armor, and then at spawn, like, to get out of spawn, you, like, have to go through, like, a safe area, and once you're out of the safe area, anyone can just kill you. So, like, what you would do is you would just sit right outside of spawn and wait for anyone to come through and just fucking wreck them. But people would just kill me a lot, and, like, I would do it before school, and I'd be like, fuck! And then I would lose all my diamonds. <laughs> and I'd be, I'd, like, diamonds I worked hours for. Di- and armor, enchanted armor, I worked hours for. And I'd just be like, fuck! And then I would have to go to school. And it was just so shitty, dude. That's what you were doing in the morning before school? Yeah, dude. I was so sweaty. And the first thing I'd come back was just grind. You were sweaty? Yeah, dude. I like was physically? a gamer. Remember, I was in... Oh, uh, oh, you uh, were really good at the game. Like, stop. I, like I was in a Call of Duty clan, bro, and you I was were. like an editor. And what we was had, the like, name of your clan? It was called. Um, I think it was just called Surf. I was an editor as well. That's how you learned to edit. 
Yeah, that's how, uh, that's I, how learned I learned how, how to edit it. by making like um. I mean, I had been editing on iMovie from like the age of like I don't know, like ten, eleven. I know, making your little um, like, like YouTube, videos. Facebook videos. Like I just always like I. I <laughs> when I found out what photo booth was, I was like, this is the most lit thing I know. ever. I remember, like, would you make videos on the computer? Like, yeah, they, like, like press like, record, yeah. and then, like edit them. Yeah, yeah, that was like all I did. Yeah. Like it was that, and then like put it in the iMovie, mm-hmm. put some black eyed peas under it. Like I, <laughs> I can like add text to this. Like this is crazy. Yeah. Like it was so lit. Like I could literally make a movie. Dude, the and standard for like content on the internet was just so it was low. so perfect yeah. it was but it was perfect you yeah. know um but that's how i learned to edit and then i also i had like towards the end of vine because i wasn't really like on vine like but people think you are yeah people do all the time <laughs> but i was on vine heavily at the end of vine because i had an edits account um, oh and for I would, what what would you edit i would edit the office i love the office me too i would edit uh, it, i had like the most popular office edits account on mine i had like what? i was racking how many? i probably followed you uh, i don't remember how many followers i remember loops i had like millions of loops oh, okay oh yeah they i remember loops. loops they, yeah. they introduced that at the end kind of yeah that that was the time i was around and then the, vine ended yeah. and i was like oh well i guess my editing career is over dude that's so <laughs> funny me josh and max had a and uh Attaboy and Emma, we had this uh, anime editing account called um, Romp and Stomp and Rabbit Plumpkin, and we would just all put anime edits. And Max was actually just talking about it the other day about how he was like going on the Vine archives and looking at them. Did you? There's a Vine archive? I guess I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, maybe I can find my old edits. I know. You, I know your office edits. It's so funny. That's I lost what you're doing. them. Um, it's so weird that we did like similar things. That's like how that. I learned how to edit, though. I mean, and now I'm like, I'm the, I'm the, when, I'm like the third best editor I know. Like, when did you start with like the singing videos? Like, cause why didn't you do singing on Vine at all? Um, I might have posted like one or two singing videos on Vine, but I wasn't like I, I would always delete them. I just like I, I don't know. Um, I like. I um I mean I did singing YouTube videos that was the thing I did YouTube videos from the from, I want to say like from the age of like twelve I post like covers and they just didn't go anywhere but actually no that's not true dude once when I was I posting met on him, he had like seventy thousand followers and I was like how that dude? was Instagram because on Instagram I had posted I was posting singing covers as well there and like there was at the time there was like these singing Instagram accounts. That had like millions of followers or they would just like post singing videos of people. And I got reposted on there a few times. <laughs> um, Make like my videos. The like, hustle. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I just, I wanted to sing, you know, I wanted to make music. I wanted to sing and then Greer happened. And Did you ever go door to door like um, no. caroling? No, I went door to door every fucking year. God, fuck. Like, what do you mean? Every fucking year with my sister Priscilla because, yeah, like we were poor. We needed to fundraise. She needed to fundraise if she wanted to go on certain trips and things and whatever the fuck. And I would go door to door with her every fucking year and sell like whatever it was that year, like candles or fucking was it for the like, school? chocolates. Yeah, it was like through the school. Dude, you know and she would need oh to do it God. to like go on trips or whatever she wanted to do. You know and I would so come crazy, with her. Josiah? She'd make me come Our with her. Our school had that same thing. Dude, it's just so crazy. Like, alive. Just get and, these kids to dude, like do all what, this free work. What happened in, in I wanted something. And so what my parents did was they just bought like 30 or whatever I needed. And like, I got like everything I needed, you know? Bro, that's cheating. I know, it's fucked up. Well, I would have to grind and hustle. I know, dude. Isn't we that crazy? I didn't have to do shit. Whole and I entire got, like, neighborhood. Thing. I was like, thank you, mom. Bro, and one year, like, for <laughs> some reason, like, the things that people ordered weren't coming. And, like, I would, like, see people that so I sold hot. to on the street. And they were like, yo, like, where's my stuff? And I'd be like, I don't fucking know. Like, I'm 11. Like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> like, why are you buying shit from an 11-year-old off some catalog? Like, True. you really trust me? to like write your address down right and like do shit like and also i'm like i didn't get the fucking money for it it's for my sister ask her not me but those were the times you know when i was really grinding lemonade stand grinding oh i've I've done lemonade stand i did a few made some cash i just really i don't know did one time i know someone who um there was a lemonade stand of like a bunch of little girls and they had a bunch of muffins 
and so, uh, someone rolled up and they were like, oh, nice muffins. And they're like, oh, thank you. Do you want one? And he's like, yeah, yeah, let me grab one. And he got out and took the entire muffin box <gasps> from the girls and just ran. He stole it? He stole it. They probably made those muffins. He was literally stealing can- like kids, like candy from kids. It's terrible. It's easy stealing candy from a baby. Exactly. Literally. Our muffin's not candy. One and, of my and friends then he had just a threw baby. them in the trash. <laughs> like, there's too many muffins to eat. It's like, people just love to watch the world Burn. scream. Dude, I was thinking about it the other night, and I was, you like, were? with my mom. <laughs> I was thinking about it, and I was like, yo, like, isn't that weird? I was like, you, like, gave birth to us. I was like, and now you just, like, I was like, do you ever, like, look at us and think, like, that's so weird. Like they're so old. And she was like, yeah, all the time. And I was just thinking about when I have a baby and like my friend just had a baby, like, and I'm like, I don't want a baby at all. And if I had to have a baby right now, I'd probably kill myself realistically because I think I'd feel too guilty to leave it. And, but I don't want it, you know? Um, they don't have one. I'm not going to. No, I dude, I think um like bro, we're 20 I'm 21. <laughs> yeah, so I I don't think it's really something you got to worry or think about. When I do have cuz I want kids eventually. You I worry. Know, that's what I'm saying like I want two kids eventually and I'm going to lie to them a fuck ton. <laughs> dude, what I'm going to do when They're you the have most kids, gullible people ever. I'm going to like team up with your kids against you. I'm like, god, don't you think your dad is so annoying? Like, don't you just like like <laughs> Why are you gonna do that? That's weird. That's weird that you'd be talking to my kids like that. Like, fucking no, creep, like fucking weirdo. Or something. I'm like, like, yo, doesn't your dad suck? I'm, I'm Come like, hang out with me. I'm like, like, you're fucking I'm like, creep, wait, bro. You're, I'm, I'm gonna be like, wait, your dad gives you a timeout for that? I'm like, I would never do that for my kids. I'm, yeah, I'm that's fucking that. weird. Stop talking to my kids like that. <laughs> and then they would be like, Luke is sad. And then you'd be like, oh my god, there he goes. Dude, you're gonna be Uncle Lou? Yeah, Uncle Lou. I'm Uncle Jay. I mean, I guess Uncle Josh. No, you're not Uncle, Uncle Jay. Jay. Yeah, dude, Uncle Josh is Uncle Jay. I'd be Uncle Joe's. Auntie Jay? Dude, Uncle Joe's. Uncle Joe's. <laughs> yo, it's Joe's. <laughs> yeah, the Joe's go. bone. Yo, you're going to get the Joe's <laughs> bone again, bro. Come yeah. here. Stop. Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel like you'd be a great father. Me? Yeah, I feel like you'd do well with yeah, kids. Yeah, because my father was so bad. Which, th- I mean, that can go one of... That can go two ways. If you have an awful father, you're either also an awful father or you like, or you're a good father. So I, I'm going to try to be a I good one. I feel like that's for everyone. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have to say that. <laughs> like, I mean, I don't know. My dad, I, uh, dude, I thought I saw him at a concert recently um, and I got so freaked out. I mean, not recently, like within the last year, I think it was on West Coast. Uh, West Coast tour and I thought I saw him in the audience and I was shit so my pants scary. like just in the middle of the song and I was like dude when was the last time here, you actually bro? like saw him in person um like 11 years ago that's crazy I want to say 11 years ago 12 that's years crazy. ago yeah he like he's gone man he's gone with the wind dude oh my and just like seeing him like like if you were to see him like just like walking mixed down in the with street. people dude i know when i i was like dude is he here like i literally <laughs> shit my pants and i was like oh, oh my god, god. like uh, i would like would lose you it. would you have gone up to him or? no dude if he's listening to this right now do not come to any shows please do not come to any shows because i don't want to see you there it's too much like send me a fucking email or something please don't come um God, that man, there's something wrong with him, I think. Yeah, but that's what you were saying. Like, you learned exactly what not to do. So yeah, now when you but have also kids, sometimes with that, like, you can overcompensate and try to be too good of a dad and, like, just over yeah, do it. Yeah. But I'm like, to me, I'm like, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to have kids because I'm going to fuck them up. Like, yeah, but, like, there's, like, no way you're not going to fuck them up. Like, yeah. you could be the perfect, perfect <laughs> parent, and you're still, like, they're still going to have issues and go to therapy and be like, yeah, it's because of something you did when I was younger. Like, that's just going to happen. That's inevitable. Dude, what and you just got to live with of, it. Like, the biggest thing is that, like, I, I don't know if this is true or not, but, like, I know, obviously, good parenting, I think, leads to good kids, but I feel like sometimes kids just come out, like, 
fucking psycho. Like, like they just come out that way. Even if they have the best parents in the world. Like, I've known some kids, and their parents are so nice and sweet to them, and they just act like the worst fucking people. And I, that would be the worst. If, like, well, my think... kid was, like, a mean person, I would be so... That's my biggest fear, you know? Like, that. that's why, like, I'm scared of having, like, a boy. Like, I'm, I'm scared to have... A girl because like I don't want anyone to like I, I don't like being a girl in this world I feel like it's so hard like uh, you would just immediately have like so many things against you just being so born. you don't want to have a but girl I'd be so scared of having a boy because I'd be like so afraid that they would be like an a asshole mean and a horrible person you like, wouldn't be scared that the girl would be an asshole I mean, uh, yeah, double of standard of course, alert. I'm just for real, for real. specifically for different reasons. I mean, I want a girl. I don't want to. I don't know how to raise a boy. <laughs> but no, when I have my kids, when I have my kids, they're gonna be fucking lit, and they're gonna fucking light shit on fire, and they're gonna be fuckers, and they're gonna be funny, Dude, and they're gonna be bad gonna fucking be, kids. I I just oh, imagine so the Tasmanian devil. Dude, from, they are like, gonna be just, so <laughs> fucking lit. <laughs> or like thing one and thing two. Like, like if I get a quiet one, I'm fucked. I'm throwing it out. Oh I don't care. Gosh. Like I'm I don't know. <laughs> I really I'll have to because I'm like what? Like you're not gonna sit here and shoot the shit with me, dude. What if like, our kids like hate each other? That's the thing too. I'm having two kids though. Two kids only, not three. Because then there's middle child. We already talked about this, didn't we? On podcast? Well, I'm going to say it again. Three kids, you got a middle child. Lucas is one of the only middle children I know that is a normal fucking person. Most middle children are fucked up and just don't, they just don't know what to do. Um, And two kids seem perfect because I can't have one because most of the only children I know are fucking assholes and awful. Um, So two seems like the perfect amount to me, boy and a girl. Dude, three all the way, bro. No, bro. Coming from a middle child? How is being the youngest? Youngest of what? Five? Six? Six. I was youngest of six. It was fucking lit. Hey. <laughs> like, I never got punished ever. Like, yeah, Gibby was the youngest of how many? Four. Four. Yeah. My mom just like, I think she just like, I'd get lost in the shuffle, you know? So she'd just be totally. like, oh, well, you know. I feel you, I, See, I had a pretty privilege too, though, because Dude. I was a cute kid. And everyone, <laughs> like, I feel like both of y'all siblings, like, went through everything already. So, like, by the time it happened to you, like... Yeah. Like, my mom was a lot more relaxed and just like, well, they're going to do what they're going to do. Because, like, yeah. with my first sister, like, my oldest sister, she was, you know, my mom did not know what the fuck to do when she went through, like, her, like, teenage, like, rebellion phase. My mom did not know what to do. Like, when my mom caught her smoking cigarettes, like... She oh. made her smoke the whole fucking pack. No. Yeah. At the back door and she was spraying her with Febreze. And uh, like my sister Alyssa was like, <sighs> dude, my sister Alyssa was like, like thinking she's so cool, like blowing O's like on the first few cigarettes. By the end, she was throwing up like oh just like at God. the back door. My mom was like, yeah, you like smoking fucking cigarettes. And the thing is, is my only choice of cigarette that I ever smoke, like because I don't smoke cigarettes very much. Um, but like sometimes when I drink, I'll do is the same exact cigarette that Alyssa smoked. I didn't know this until recently. It's a Capri menthol. Um, Wait, that's what she had to do. What? Uh, she smoked, smoked a whole pack of Capri menthols. Oh, menthols is disgusting. Capri oh my. Um, I like menthols though. Like if Dude, if I had to smoke nightmare. a whole pack of them, I wouldn't. I, I'd rather do that than regular Dude. cigarettes. But a Capri menthol, like it's. <laughs> uh, but, but by the yeah. time my mom got to me, she was like. You were saying though, Alyssa never smoked again, right? After that, I don't think really. No, no. She, she. I mean, it worked. Yeah, it worked. You know, but some you, kids you are can't just. can't blame her. <laughs> some kids are just harder than others. You know, it just depends. Yeah, I wasn't a hard right. kid. I was a pretty easy kid. I just ditched school. But I told my mom, I was like, "That's the good thing too, is being the youngest sibling. Is you have a few siblings before you that have like fucked up and done crazy shit. Yeah. So you can just be like." At least I'm not doing that, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm just ditching school. Like, at least I'm not doing drugs and, like, doing all this shit. Because at the time, I wasn't at all. Like, yeah. I was such... I was a pretty good kid. You know, I, I smoked weed a few times when I was really young. Yeah, because you never went to school. I think a lot of kids would be pretty cool if they didn't have to go to school. Well, that was after freshman year. Like, I went to freshman year. After that, I was done. Like, after that, I went to online and I got a job. Yeah. But... I went to school for most of the time. But honestly, freshman year, I didn't go at all. I ditched the whole year. <sighs> Dude, freshman year, me and Gibby uh, had this Spanish class. And do you remember that one time when, like... I'm going to pee real quick. Okay. You can keep going. Okay. Uh, we had to, like... 
draw those pictures or something for an assignment. Yes. And she like really loved my pictures. Loved yours. <laughs> she was like, oh, look at it. It's very good. Yep. <laughs> You know, I miss like having class together. Like, I wish we had more classes. To- I wish like I would like we we could have just made more of a point with the counselor or something because I'm sure they would have allowed it. Yeah, it's like because looking back now, it like it didn't matter like what I was actually learning. Like none of the shit that you know, like I learned actually like carried over with me. But what was just important was learning how to learn like and and it didn't matter what class i was in it, that that skill was so useful yeah. for me but um man yeah that was a cool class yeah she didn't like me though i know I, I feel like a lot of the teachers had a problem with you like and and you like literally you i feel like weren't even a bad student yeah Sorry, what did I miss? <laughs> yeah. Why don't people, I... <laughs> like... I've never seen in a podcast, like, I've never seen someone get up and use the bathroom and be like, I'm gonna go pee real quick, like, be right back. Like, can we be real? Can we be honest? You we might gotta, be the first. We gotta pee sometimes, you know? And I don't know. I think we should just be a little more real, guys. Be real. Be... I don't need be real. I need be Coca-Cola. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is that even mean? <laughs> Psycho, bro. Some TikTok and this girl was like, "I don't need be real. I need be Coca Cola." And I was like, "Bro, what the fuck are you saying?" Like, but honestly, no. Ugh, I love Coca Cola so much. Like, I saw a video of someone drinking one the other day, and I was just like, "Oh, I need that, bro. Like, that looks so good." And it made me feel warm. Like, it made me feel like, "Oh, like classic, like Coca Cola." You know, like it's Thought just it fucking good. <laughs> Thought Coca Cola was cold. What? I thought Coca Cola was cold. Cold? Yeah, it made you feel warm. No, no, I just mean like it made me feel like warm in my heart. Oh, like okay. it made me feel like oh, like a, a, an ice cold Coca Cola on a on a hot winter or a cold lying. winter day. <laughs> you don't know what you're, you're talking about. Lying. Bro, I'm having a stroke right now. <laughs> you're lying. You know why would I be lying? Make sure you're talking to the mic. Uh, in music class in grade school in seventh grade, we um, co- coerce like the entire class to all get up during a certain time. We're like at twelve, we'll all just stand up in our seats, all right? So like we all were like anticipating it the whole class, and like this poor music teacher, like the music grade, like we I don't even think we got graded in that class. So like really, really, no one took it seriously, and. The clock was like ticking, 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 and it hit, and no one stood up for a second, and then like one person did, and then like another person did, and then slowly everyone did, and then he was like, "What's going on?" <laughs> and then the, everyone got in trouble. Was that all it was? Did yeah, you guys, it was like, so stupid and happy. You didn't baked. do like a dance or anything. We just like we just stood up. That no, was it. Yeah, it everyone was do their lame. favorite Fortnite dance. <laughs> we were like ballsy enough to be kids, but too scared enough to like actually like make a statement or like. <laughs> Actually, like, fuck. We will him. rise against, like, you guys, like. Yeah, we were like, fight! <laughs> like, fight! Fight! Like fight! A, like a cool, like, clap, like, stomp dance. Yeah, yeah. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. I don't want to go to school anymore, so I'm <laughs> leaving the classroom right now. Right through the door. Yeah, yeah, bro. See, this is why we made a band, bro. We were so good at writing songs. We're just in sync. I'm Timberland. So many, huh? Justin Timberland? <laughs> You're Timberland? The show? In sync like the band? Timberlake. Timberlake. I'm Timberland. <laughs> <You're>, wh- <laughs> I'm Timber. Uh, Timberlake. No, I don't fuck with Justin Timberlake. Have fuck you ever him. been to the Mississippi Lake? Uh, the river? <laughs> no. That's what the Lakers are named after. No, it's not. The, why would they be named after the Mississippi Lake, Lucas? Okay, there's no point with you. <laughs> One time in school. <laughs> Wait, you know what Justin Timberlake did to Janet Jackson? Uh, um, make great music together. No, they didn't make great music together. Um, he ripped her fucking brawl off at the Super Bowl. At Brawl Holla? Oh my gosh! I know. You, do you remember that? And her nipple was like out. Oh, and like, I do remember that. After that, and I, I don't want to like bring more light to it. Like after all these years, but I mean, like, there's a room for a discussion. Like it was fucked up. And after that, like, the her sales went like down, down, down. Her career got 
fucked because everyone was like at the time everyone was like she's showing her nipple on tv like it's all like they just blamed her but it's like and he didn't apologize till this year to her like fuck him maybe it was just really thoughtful and he was just it took a long time to come up with it no <laughs> No. Yeah, probably not. You're right. I think he just lived in ignorance for like 20 years of like how he ruined this like person's <laughs> life. Well, you don't yeah, really know right. until it gets that far along, right? No. You don't, you don't know you ruin someone's life she until was they live the rest of their life. No, bro. She was ridiculously under fire like for years and he just didn't say a thing. Dude, the media will always just attack you. Yes, that's yeah. true. <laughs> That's a very good point, Lucas. <laughs> the media will always just run and gun. Ah, oh, dude, I wish Gibby had a soundboard. You know what, guys? Next oh, time. No soundboard. Next, Fuck. next, next time. episode, we're going to get the soundboard. Next episode, Gibby gets an explosion soundboard. Yep. <laughs> uh, Funny one. 21. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> the data flew around my room. Joe Biden. Wait, do you want to... Joe do, Biden. Do you want to see how long we can do uh, Vine, like, ad-libs? Like, yeah, yeah. like it, go in a circle it, yeah, and whoever circle, can't whoever think of one think loses. One. All right, Gibby starts. Then it goes to me and then Lucas. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the crackhead kid. The crackhead oh, kid. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, was Boonk on Vine? No. Fuck. God, yeah, you don't even know. You can't even play this game. Hold on, no, let me get. Just give me a second. I know, I know. With boom gun. <laughs> boom. Oh man, that's, that's a the vine start. boom sound effect. That's not like a vine though. <laughs> okay. Uh, fucking. What? Grace is cheating for Josie. Grace is cheating for Josie. Grace, is, she's saying. I'll things have the mixed vegetables. Is that a vine? Yeah. So let me take a selfie. You not my dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right back to you, homie. Okay, fuck. Um, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a countdown. Huh? Miss Keisha. Keisha. Grace is cheating. Like, why? Why? What Thank is you, this? bro. What is go, this? Go. Go ahead, next, bro. Um, I thought you used your phone in front already. Uh, um. <laughs> Yeah, go uh, ahead, bro. Oh, no, no, yeah, no, no, bro. I, I'm so thinking easy. of five. Bro. Wait for that backflip, though. What is that? King Batch, dude. Oh, okay. I don't want your ravioli. <laughs> oh, fuck your chicken strips. I remember that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I remember that. Um, yeah, go ahead, bro. So yo, easy, bro. So I got another one Dude, already. Grace gave you fucking two. Stop. Grace, Shut give up. him another one. All, give him all another one. I'm thinking in my head. And a cool fucking bowl cut. Why'd you do that? It is a bowl cut. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, bro. <laughs> Lucas. Okay, Lucas is changing shirts for the outro. I don't know why. Just. I did the bowl cut thing for you today. He's saying, see. I did the bowl cut thing for you today. No, you didn't do that for me, Lucas. You did that for you. And look what you look like now. Uh, ask Grace, what did I say? Like what fucking I say? Clark I Kent loser. Yes, that's what I said. But I think it changed into that. I don't think that Dude, happen. I don't think. I said, all I want to do is make you laugh. Okay, well, mission accomplished, kind of? Um, Now, I just, I uh, feel yeah. like I regret Getting the trying to make you happy. Okay. Because you don't appreciate shit. Okay. Well, wow. Yeah, I do. I don't appreciate the bowl cut though, because that wasn't. How was that? How was that benefiting me? I got me? this bowl cut for you, because I love you. Because you're my friend? Question mark. You're not even looking at me, bro. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't even like, like. Uh, oh, the camera's gonna turn off. Okay, we should sign off. We only have three minutes. Okay, guys. The SD card is out of storage, so guess what? We're signing off. Yeah, it's a big <laughs> deal, bro. Get fucking ready, bro. Yes, this is I'm Billy and I'm Gene, and we are not, not your, your lovers. lovers.